All right, guys, welcome back. So if you guys have been keeping up, you already know this is part four. Yeah, part four of this journey of trying to tear this engine down, get this thing fixed up and just get it all back up and running. We're getting down to the wire here. We've got like, I want to say two or three days left. Whew, I don't know if we're going to get this done. But today, what we're doing, we're taking the engine and we're gonna take all the valve springs out and we're gonna change them and upgrade them. I've got these nice springs that we're gonna put in from uh, ARP. Basically, because of the cam that I have, we're really maxing out the ones that we have in there now. So I got some upgraded ones that I've had for like months and I've been wanting to put them in. Well, I'd rather do it with the engine out of the car than in it, it's just easier. So we're gonna do that today. We'll see how far we can get. Um, and then if we can get anything else done today, we will. Because we are pressed for time, but I keep running out of time like every day. So let's do it. Okay, so the first step for today, we're going to take off these valve covers and take a look at what we're working with. After we do that, we're going to take out these spark plugs, make sure that we clear everything up, find top dead center number one, and get started. So let's do it. Awesome. So now what I'm going to do is take out each of these spark plugs and make sure I set them aside. So this uh, spark plug looked a little wet. Now it could be from just flipping it upside down, but it's also really dirty. Ooh! This one's got some like white tips stuff on the tip. That looks like it's burned. Again, similar issue. All the plugs appear to be running very rich. Okay, so I got all these sides out. I didn't film it because the uh, memory card got full. I had to get that done. Uh, but now we got all these out, all eight of them in order. Next step is going to be to do the valve springs. So this is the part number and the part. I'll put a link in the description for what this is. Valve spring remover it makes the tool a lot easier to do. You're also going to need one of these. Um, you could use a compression tester and just make sure you take out the Schrader valve. Um, it, but this is specific for removing this. This piece here is basically just going to be used to shoot compressed air up into the cylinder. Um, and then these are my two springs. This is the part number I'm using. You have to talk to them to see which one that you might need um, if, you, if you're even doing this. But anyway, so we're going to replace these. I'm going to show you how to do it and uh, we'll do that. So first step, you want to do number one cylinder, get top dead center. Um, you notice both these things, both the rockers are completely uh, level or not. See how like this one's open and whatnot. This is top dead center. You know that by, hey, you can see the position of the rotor. Also, you can see down here, you can see the position on the marker. Position on the marker is at zero. So that's top dead center. So now we can take these rockers off and then we'll get the springs out. On these things, they've got a set screw, so you first got to remove that. Once you loosen the set screw enough, then you can turn the actual nut to remove the rocker. And we're going to keep these separate so we know which one is for what. So like this is the exhaust side, this is intake. Okay, so now we'll use our tool. All right, so the cool part about this tool is it's got a magnet tip, so it's gonna catch those keepers, but this is the best part about this tool is that basically all you do, you line it up on top of there, it's magnetic. See, so it holds itself up. Take yourself a hammer. This thing might have too much pressure to be able to do this. Oh, there's one. There it goes. Okay, cool. So you just have to hit it pretty hard. Uh, but yeah, so that's it. And you can see in there, it's got the keeper and everything. So we can take this off. Nice and easy. Okay, and we'll do it on this one. Look at that. See, that's how it's supposed to go. Nice and easy. Okay, now let's put the new ones on. Okay, so I want to give a quick comparison between these two. So the new one, 
This is the new one, okay? And this is the old one. Now to give it a good idea of just what the difference is, you can see how the spring on the left is pretty significantly stronger. It's a little bit thicker than the one on the right. So we could take a little bit more abuse. Uh, they both have the inner spring as well. Um, it appears as though the inner spring on the one on the left is actually smaller than the one on the right. Um, and then also it's a lot stiffer, so it can withstand a lot more pressure, which is what we wanted. Um, so they're rated up to, I think it's like 7,800 RPMs. We're obviously not going to hit that, but it's just a little bit extra security because this one was really pushing it to the limit. So yeah, so let's get the new ones on. So you guys might have a little trouble hearing me. I'm a dumbass and I completely forgot to hook up the compressor and almost dropped my valve into the engine. So. Yeah, don't do that. That's uh, that's very, very bad. So I got it hooked up now. You can see down there. So now we'll be able to go and get this thing up and running and we'll finish getting these valves in. Now we're gonna take our new tool, slide this inside there. Boom, this goes towards the thing. We're gonna make sure that we put all of, uh, we're gonna put the keeper on here and everything and then pound it in. These springs are just too stiff. We're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. I went to the place and I bought I bought one of these special tools and it worked. Okay, so now we got that on there. It's a little bit quieter in here. Thank God. Um, so these things are on, they're in there good. So now we gotta get the rocker studs on. So we'll put those things on there, or the rocker arms, and then uh, put the valve lash, adjust that, and then we'll move on to the next one, which will be number eight. Uh, so we'll turn the crank and get that set, and yeah. Okay, we're putting these right back on the exact same spots they were. Basically what I'm doing here is I'm going until I feel friction and I can't turn the, uh, push rod anymore. Okay, okay, that's good. And then what we do is we take this and we do it a full half turn. Just tighten that down. Then we just gotta lock it down. Boom. Same thing for the other side. Okay, good. That's on there, pretty load set. So now I gotta do the rest of them. Well, that was one. <laughs> so I've got seven more to do. Well, 14 technically. So let's do that and insert gratuitous montage action. dangerous yeah. holy fucking shit guys what the hell Okay, so we got all the springs on, nice and easy. <laughs> easy? <laughs> it wasn't. I was. It was a little bit of a bitch at some points, but uh, it was really time-consuming more than it was difficult. Yeah, it was kind of a pain. So what do you got there? Do I need to pump it up to get? Oh, there you yeah, go. Oh, there it is. That's okay. our little oil squirter. Can you see it? Yep. Mm -hmm. 
Yep, okay, so come on over here. Ah, oh, it's right at the tip. All right, so what we're doing is putting some of this wonderful royal purple up in here. Just so all over it. Basically, yeah, we're just spraying on all the valves. You can even just go from above here and just squirt, squirt, squirt. That's it. Just get it nice and nice and covered. Just if you go from the yeah. top, it'll just leak down too. Oh, okay, so just it's like pancake syrup. Yep. I feel like I'm an IHOP. Ooh. Yep, and we'll just lube it all up. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Cover the whole spring, everything. I like this. This is fun. I feel like a old timey mechanic. Yeah, see, you got your little chest and uh, these one in minutes, eh? <laughs> it's an interesting, uh, an interesting thing, that's for sure. I love that tool, though. That's a fun tool. I am having quite the fun. Yeah. Now that we got all these springs up and lubed up nice and good, what do we got left to do? Oh yeah, we're gonna put the gaskets on. So I guess we'll do that next. Looks good. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what a lemonade is, sweet lemonade, sweet, sweet lemonade. Ah, oh, we need brick clean. Show you real late. Really? Is that a Cars reference? That was a Cars reference. Was it? Yeah, that's what that's what Lightning McQueen says. Oh, oh. Wilson. Chica chica. And he moves his tire. Chica chica. <laughs> I wondered where that came from. I love that. Chica chica. Damn, now I'm gonna be saying that like forever. Or maybe his was kachow. Was it kachow? Maybe it was kachow. Chica -chica. Just kachow. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Now I'm gonna have to find out. All right, so we just finished up doing the valve springs on the RX-7. Now, tomorrow our plan is kind of just to get as much done as we can. Uh, we don't really have 100% idea what we're going to be doing. We know we want to get the engine cleaned up, we want to get the pilot bearing put in, and we want to start putting the engine back in the car. Because on Friday, we need to have it, well, it doesn't need to be driving till Saturday, but we'd like to have it running on Friday so that we can make sure everything's good by Saturday morning when we have to be out at the track. Yeah, I mean, that's gonna be. Uh, I hope we can make it. I really do. I think we can. I mean, we just gotta get this engine in that car. Yeah. This engine in that car. I don't know. Yeah, we have not a lot of time, so we'll Nothing see. I still gotta get the transmission on this puppy. Like, oh, oh well, we'll get it it's done. It's another day. Tonight is a yep. little too late. So just remember, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and always. Keep drifting fun. Yeah.